this video, I'm going to demonstrate how the new multitasking features work on the iPad. So to get started, all we have to do is double click the home button or use that familiar four finger up gesture. And we get to this screen, which kind of looks like a hybrid of mission control and control center from previous versions of iOS and the Mac. So the first thing you can notice is that many different apps are fully visible on the screen and we can scroll and see other apps that we have open. What we can do here is we can also adjust settings. For instance, if we want to make the display brighter, all you have to do is just hover over this with your finger, drag, and it changes the display brightness. You can also change the volume by simply doing the same thing. You can adjust AirPlay 2 settings by tapping on screen mirroring. You can get the quick access to the camera, which as you can see, you press and you hold down and you get this 3D touch-like effect on devices without 3D touch. Similar thing that you can get with the timer. Do Not Disturb has no actions. Ringer has no actions and lock has no actions. And you also have some settings you can customize here, such as the airplane mode, cellular data, Wi-Fi, and you can see that nice animation, and also Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enter the Notes app. All I have to do is press and hold, and then a little X appears. I tap that X, and it goes away, and the screen rearranges. Now let's say I want these two apps side by side. What am I going to do? Well, what I would do is I would open an app such as Files, and then I would flick up, and then I would grab another app such as Safari, and I would move that to the right-hand corner of the screen. You'll notice that another window appears, and you'll notice that I have the ability to move it around the screen, which gives you greater flexibility. I can also press down on the top bar, and it'll pop into multi-window mode and then I can use this familiar bar to adjust the size. Something new on iOS 11 is you can now have the left pane be the smaller pane and the right pane be the larger pane, something that was not available on iOS 10. When you're ready to change the app, all you have to do is double click on the home button or use that four finger gesture and it'll pop right back into this app switcher slash mission control. And you can see something also that's new. You can see that both the files in Safari render in the same tile. On previous versions of iOS, a blurry background just appeared there, and they appeared separately. In some cases, the smaller pane wouldn't appear at all, but now they're appearing in the same tile or window that you can see here. To close both apps, you simply push again, click the X, and both close. Another power feature that users may not be aware of is that when they're in an app, such as Microsoft Word, they can flick up and then they can tap an app such as files and you'll see this 3D touch like widget which shows you other files. You can do other commands such as drag and drop with this. For instance, I can click show more and I can take this file and I would be able to drag it into another window. However, Word at this time does not support such a feature. You'll also notice that the dock has a couple icons on the right separated by a vertical line. This is not the same type of vertical line that we would see on the Mac, separating apps that are minimized from the rest of the dock. These apps appear to be apps that you have recently used. And this concludes the tour of the new app switcher on iOS 11 running on an iPad Pro.